All right, guys, this is crazy, and you're going to think that I am absolutely going off my rocker now, but you've got to see the results. I've been trying a new experiment out here in the garden, and this experiment in particular is taking place with our zucchini plants. And I've been reading a lot of things lately um, and just kind of watching what other people are doing with their gardens. You guys are going to think I'm nuts, but let's go check this out and show you what's going on. All right, guys, here it is, four zucchini plants. And as you're looking at these, I want you to take note of them. What do you notice? Well, obviously, this guy over here is much deeper green and much larger than the rest of them. But what you didn't know was I bought all four of these plants at the exact same time from the exact same place. Now, I planted these back to zucchini plants right in the wood chips. Now these wood chips are about six inches deep and below that is about six inches of the cow manure. Uh, so those guys are right in the wood chips. These guys I dug down through the wood chips and I planted right into the manure. Now, I want you to know, and you just gotta take my word for it, man, I wish I would have filmed it, but didn't realize I was gonna get these results until now, but I want you to take note of this. All of these were planted at the same time, bought from the same place, but this one up front here is deep, dark green. What do you think we've done different? Well, about two weeks ago, I started peeing on my plants. I know it sounds absolutely terrible, but I've been reading and, you know, I was looking at these guys, every single one of these plants, so you guys know, I wish I would have recorded it, but every single one of them were, were, looked exactly the same about two weeks ago. They looked identical. This guy right here, this zucchini plant, looked just like this zucchini plant. I promise you, two weeks ago. And I was frustrated because I planted these two up front right in the manure. I dug down through the wood chips. They just hasn't broken down enough yet and it doesn't have enough nitrogen to feed these things. So I started researching what can I do and somehow I came across this channel. This guy was talking about urine on plants and how it's a good fertilizer and it acts as, uh, you know, a, a nitrogen fertilizer for the plants. And I thought, no way. I had never heard of this before. I mean, I had heard of animal urine being used throughout history for plant propagation, but never just peeing on plants. And I threw all caution to the wind, said, what the heck? And I came out here and, you know, I don't want to get too graphic, but there's the results, man. And for the past two weeks, about every two or three days, I have been coming out here and just taking a leak on my little zucchini plant here. And I'm telling you, this looked exactly identical to that one behind it just two weeks ago. And you can see nothing's happening with it. Well, about a week ago, I said, I'm going to start taking care of this guy too <laughs> and you can see the difference in size I mean obviously this one over here that's been going on for two weeks is a lot bigger and greener but this one is starting to green up too and it looked just like those guys in the back and you can see it's starting to green up it's starting to work it's getting flowers on it and it's looking really good but look at that two weeks man I am just completely blown away and completely impressed at that I cannot believe the results I did nothing else all I did was come out here every two or three days and just urinate on the plant I know I know I know it sounds crazy, it's absolutely disgusting, but listen, it's not as bad as it sounds. So I started doing a little more research on this and found that urine actually has the perfect components to be a fertilizer. It's very similar to some of the fertilizers on the market today that you spend a lot of money on at stores. And there have been tests and trials going, you know, look around YouTube. There's other videos of people comparing urine and some of these fertilizers and you get the very same results, guys. I'm telling you, you don't have to throw your money away. It sounds crazy, but urine actually has about a 10-1-4 ratio with the NPK. So that's the nitrogen, the phosphorus, and then the potassium. Um, the nitro Johnny! The nitrogen is super high and greens those leaves up and just allows for tons of growth. Now, here's the thing. Everybody says, that's so gross, Mike. It's so disgusting. But let me help you understand something. And you probably already know this, intuitively at least, but I'm going to explain it to you. 
urine is completely sterile. There is no bacteria in it when it comes out of your body. It sounds gross, but I think that's why people think it's gross. You know, they walk into a dirty bathroom and they smell the urine. Well, it's because the bacteria has had a chance to grow on it. But when it comes out of your body, it is completely sterile. The reason that you can know that real quick is if it wasn't sterile, if it had bacteria in it, you'd have a UTI, you'd have a urinary tract infection. It comes out of your body completely sterile. So what happens is when it's on a surface for a while, bacteria can feed on it and grow and that's what you're smelling. So when it comes out of your body, it's sterile, it's clean. All it is is just pure nutrition, pure nutrients for these plants with tons and tons of nitrogen and all of the elements that you need to build a good base for this plant. Now, I started reading about this. Why is urine so impressive? Why is it so helpful for plants? And that's where I came up um, with and found the ratio, the 10-1-4 ratio. And I also found another article. There was actual research done on this. I think it was over in England and they had three plots. They had one, all plots were on the same soil at this place and uh, all the same vegetables were planted in each plot. Um, in the first plot it was just the plain soil and the vegetables did how they expected them to, just kind of average. And in the second plot they used human urine as a fertilizer with the same soil, same vegetables, they used human urine. And they found that there was a 10% increase in size and production overall of the vegetables and berries and whatever else they had in there in that plot. Now, they went one step further, and that is on the third plot, they, they used human urine, and they also used ashes from a wood stove, or from a, a, a fire, or you know, wherever they got it from. They used wood ashes on that plot as well, and what they found was, not only did they have an in... Let's wait for the plane to pass. And what they found was not only did they have an increase in size and production of the vegetables and the crops, but they also found that there was four times more production, four times more when they added the wood ash and the berries and produce and everything they grew tasted much better and sweeter. And if you watch Paul Gauchi's videos, um, the Back to Eden videos, L2 Survives channel, uh, he talks about this quite a bit. So with his wood chips, the trees grow up and the way they build all that huge tall structure is through minerals. They pull minerals out of the soil through the roots and with water and minerals, they build these huge gigantic structures. And when the wood chips are, you know, when the branches are ground into wood, Wood chips those wood chips are put down and they decompose back into minerals and he also uses wood ash and talks about this when you burn wood it completely gets rid of any material aside from the carbon the basics the carbon the minerals you know the only thing that's left the rocks the minerals the carbon the, these kinds of things don't burn up and so that's what's left. And so when you use wood ash on your garden, it completely just infuses your garden with tons of minerals. And so I think that's where all of this massive production increase came from and the, the, the food tasted much better and sweeter. And so I'm telling you guys, this sounds crazy, but if you need to green a plant up, if you need to get plants going and get them taken off for free, Go urinate on your plants and then go get some wood ash out of your wood stoves or out of your burn pile and spread that around. I know that's what I'm doing from now on because everything in my vegetable and berry garden is going to be strictly organic and I'm going to be using urine and I'm going to be using wood ash. Like I said, sounds gross, but go give it a shot and see what the results will do for you. I guarantee you within a week or two, you'll start seeing massive results and you can tell just by the plants out there that I showed you massive results those plants all looked identical when I started with them and in two weeks time that one took off and is doing fantastic I think the only thing I'm gonna do now to it is just add some ash I've got a wood pile over here I'm gonna add some ash to it and just see how we do all right guys here we go again so it's been another week and I still haven't got this uploaded for you so let's go out and take a look at that plant and see the changes over the last week Oh man, guys, this is fantastic. Look how well this thing is growing. I mean, 
the leaves are just coming on faster and faster and I'm starting to get some serious flowers in there and some zucchini starting to pop up. Let's take a look at this guy. This is just really cool and I am so impressed. First, let's take stand back, get a shot of the whole thing. So you can see <clears throat> this, this big green one here is the one that I originally first started urinating on. <clears throat> and then I liked the results so much after about a week, I gave this guy a shot, maybe a week and a half, something like that. And then now I'm starting to kind of work on that guy a little bit. And then I've done nothing over here. So you can see the difference. I mean, there's, I mean, almost daily or every other day urinating on this thing versus nothing and these are the exact same plants planted at the exact same time the only other difference that i did with this one right here was about a week ago after i made that last video i came out here with some wood ash and just sprinkled it around the base down in there so uh the, the only addition here is wood ash there's no other fertilizer and this thing is just enormous or it's getting enormous anyway and it looks so much better than it used to right here <laughs> i'm just amazed at the difference and if we look down in there i think the wood ash had a lot to do with this part because there's a lot of phosphorus and potassium in that in minerals but i'm getting little zucchinis in there i've got i was counting the other day there's like 11 zucchinis are starting to form including those little tiny flowers there but uh it's just amazing to me i mean we are gonna have a ton of zucchini on this plant and this plant is looking so super healthy. I'm just, I'm just completely amazed at this test and there is never going to be an excuse for not being able to afford fertilizer. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to follow along and see more tips and tricks and propagation information in the future, just subscribe below. Uh, comment if you have any questions or just want to say, yuck, Mike, that's disgusting. I don't want to talk about it anymore. That's fine too. Comment down below. Until then, uh, next video, I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day. Johnny, have an awesome day and uh, enjoy your week. Adios.